is quality. In a hotel, it might be embodied in the ambiance of the building or the professionalism of the staff. In a manufactured vehicle, it might mean it is defect free. For a restaurant, quality could be reflected in the level of service provided or the taste of the food served. But what about hospital quality? It's taking care of not just our baby, but us as a family. And it's also communication and letting us know what's going on in a situation. People who care. A uh, nurse and staff that really cares for the patients and families. The best medical staff for my child. Great nurses! Quality is defined in your text as the ability of a product or service to meet customer needs. As you just heard, quality in the eyes of customers may mean better performance, nicer features, and other improvements. In this video, we'll see what quality means at the Arnold Palmer Hospital in Orlando, Florida. Here, delivering quality health care is top priority. Named after the golfing legend, the Medical Center is one of the five largest hospitals for women and children in the United States with over 2,000 employees, 431 beds, and a service area covering 18 counties in the Central Florida area. Administrators know, however, that size isn't the force behind a quality patient care experience. We try to continually improve our processes and continually improve our quality initiatives. We have several process improvement teams that are divvied up between women's services, children's services, infant services, and medical staff services. And everyone that works here is involved with that to some degree or another, and everyone owns the process improvement initiative here. When organizations focus on total quality management, they embark on a never-ending process of continuous improvement, where the belief is that there is always room for improvement and perfection is the goal. They also involve employees through empowerment, adding responsibility, and moving authority down to the lowest levels possible in an organization. Benchmarking is another key ingredient. This involves selecting a demonstrated standard of products, services, costs, or practices that represent the very best performance. Let's take a look at what approaches are used at the Arnold Palmer Hospital. Here, the hospital provides a broad range of medical and surgical services, such as neonatal intensive care, pediatric intensive care, pediatric oncology, labor and delivery, and care for high-risk pregnancies. To determine whether each patient's expectations of quality have been met, the hospital mails an in-depth survey two weeks after discharge to everyone asking for feedback. The hospital participates in a national benchmark comparison against other hospitals and has consistently scored in the top 10% in overall patient satisfaction. The question I look at first in the patient surveys is the question, would you recommend Arnold Palmer Hospital to your family and friends? That is the key question for us. Um, and we're very fortunate to have had very high scores in that particular area. But I look at patient satisfaction every day I come to work, every single day. That is the most important thing that I focus on. We do have other measurements and other initiatives, but that is the most important thing here. And we're very, very proud of the, the high scores that we have. The survey itself is very detailed, and um, there are a whole host of categories that I look at involving uh, respect, access, the quality of your care, the quality of the medical staff, was your care coordinated, did you receive the education you needed, did you receive the discharge information you needed. So, um, I, you know, I look at all of that, but the key question is, would you recommend us to your family and friends? And um, in many cases, if our scores drop, we plan quality initiatives and process changes based on those survey results. Often, new measures start at the grassroots level, with the staff closest to an area wanting to track performance. Key measures are delivered to the team via the executive dashboard, the hospital's digital answer to paper documents. The executive dashboard measurements really are a corporate focus. 
the um, criteria is established at the executive staff level. We look at four primary quadrants. We look at service, we look at quality, we look at human resources, and we look at the financial quadrant. And within each of those quadrants, then each of the hospitals sets their own standards and their own measurements. But it really helps us to focus on the same goals, helps to focus on the same vision. I think that's very important for everybody to be in the same boat and to be directed in the same way in order to achieve the results that we all need to achieve. As your text shows, there are tools used by many organizations to help measure their total quality management efforts. They include check sheets, scatter diagrams, cause and effect diagrams, Pareto charts, flow charts, histograms, and statistical process control. The Arnold Palmer Hospital uses Pareto charts and flow charts to give hospital personnel a quick visual overview of what's happening in-house versus internal goals and external national norms. Pareto charts identify the few critical items as opposed to many less important ones. Flow charts graphically describe a process or system. This benchmarking is critical for understanding where opportunities exist for improvement. Administrators are quick to recognize that quality isn't just the responsibility of senior management. New employees are given an extensive orientation on what quality and customer satisfaction mean and their role in continuous improvement. This culture of employee empowerment gives staff the freedom and ability to quickly respond when something needs to be addressed. In fact, employees are empowered to provide gifts in value up to $200 to patients who find reason to complain about any hospital service such as food, courtesy, responsiveness, or cleanliness. One recent response to a need identified at the grassroots level was the implementation of the hospital's 24-hour bedside call service. We pride ourselves in the customer service that we provide at Arnold Palmer Hospital. About a year, year and a half ago, we instituted an at your service. What we did was we put at each patient's bedside a little table card that said, if you have any questions, concerns, issues with your stay at Arnold Palmer Hospital, we'd like to hear from you. We have a cell phone that is linked to all of the administrators, and we carry this phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We may get calls as easy as, can I turn on my Nickelodeon, can you help me with food, but certainly if there are issues of concern related to the care of that patient, we want to know about it right away. Our goal is to make it right before they ever leave our facility so that they, they will have a long-lasting good impression of Arnold Palmer Hospital this environment is, is very unique and there aren't too many jobs that you can have that you can have such a positive impact on someone's life and here we do that every day and I'm so proud to say that what happens here really matters. The effort is paying off. Arnold Palmer Hospital shares performance data with the National Association for Children's Hospitals and Related Institutions which generates rankings of thousands of members. The hospital has one of the highest survival rates of critically ill babies and is currently ranked in the top 10% nationwide in patient satisfaction. Total quality management and service organizations, like hospitals, includes four components we discussed in the text. One, they're tangible. How successful was the medical treatment received? Two, the process. Were the doctors, nurses, and staff competent? reliable, courteous, and effective communicators. Three, meet expectations. Did the hospital deliver the quality of service it promised? And four, handling problems. Did the hospital have a plan for dealing with less than perfect conditions? Arnold Palmer Hospital meets all four of these determinants of service quality. That's how it has earned its top national ranking.